Yo, 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 fam, it's your boy JoJo hitting you with another socially charged, debatable, and dope episode of The Privilege Show. And this episode is titled, We Found Barry. <laughs> uh, and by Barry, I mean Barry Hankerson, Aliyah's uncle, the owner, founder of Black Ground Records, Black Ground 2.0, all that good stuff. So if you guys have been checking into the socially charged, debatable, and dope privilege show, which I surely hope you have, you know, we've been talking about, uh, we've been looking for Barry Hankerson and Diane Houghton to show up in court during the R. Kelly trial. Well, as some of you may know or may not know, R. Kelly has been found guilty on multiple charges and is currently facing life in prison for, yeah, all the things you've been hearing about over the years. So if you haven't been following this story and how Aaliyah and her family are involved, check out our previous episodes. We went into some major details about, you know, why Barry Hankerson is suddenly releasing these albums after 20 plus years. Uh, Aaliyah passed away August 25th, 2001. So this is technically 20 years later that we now have her music on streaming platforms. So anyway, if you haven't checked out that last episode or last couple episodes, they actually went viral. Uh, and if you're just tuning in to the Privilege Show, click that subscribe button on YouTube and thumbs up. Leave us a review on Apple iTunes. Also, download the House of Entertainment app for Google Play or uh, iOS devices. It's totally free. So let's just hop straight into this thing because it's, it's kind of unsettling to me. So after years of silence, uh, Aliyah's uncle, Barry Hankerson, gave a very candid yet weird and unsettling interview on Dr. Oz. And when I say weird, it's a few things that stood out to me. It's spooky. Uh, one, Barry got a call from Hype Williams saying that Aliyah was gone. And um, got a call and somebody says, you got a long distance call is from the video shoot. I knew that they were shooting a video, obviously. Mm. Uh, and uh, I ran to the phone, and um, I spoke to the director, Hype Williams, and he said, Leah's gone. And whew, I was devastated. I immediately called Minister Farrakhan and asked him, could he call God? He immediately called Minister Louis Farrakhan to speak to God when he found out about the R. Kelly uh situation with the marriage and all that you go talk to Louis Farrakhan not police not <laughs> so if you heard that right Barry stated that it was Hype Williams idea to go to the Bahamas to shoot right so whose idea was it for her to go down to the Caribbean to shoot this uh Hype Williams yeah Hype was the director uh be very honest with you, I did not want to use Hype Williams, but uh, there was a push from management, which is her mom, uh, to do what uh, a video with Hype. I did not really want to work with Hype Williams. Okay, so getting this correct, he then stated that he didn't want to use Hype Williams and that her mom, his sister, Diane Houghton, pushed to work with director Hype Williams, which kind of has me confused. He, he went on to say his sister had some type of mysterious rapport with R. Kelly. So it was more your sister than R. Kelly pushing for Hype Williams? I don't know, but that's a very good question. Uh, there was some type of rapport my sister had with Robert Kelly that uh, began to creep into our lives. And I really don't know what that is. I really couldn't tell you what that is. That's, that's something my sister would have to talk about. But uh, there was a push from management which is her mom uh to do what uh, a video with hype i did not really want to work with hype williams uh, i regret that if i could do it over again i would not have worked with him and i don't know where the video would have been shot would it have been still shot there or someplace else but uh it's the first time i've ever said that but that's 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 what was in my heart when it when his name came up and that she would have to be the one to tell it and that yeah that's pretty much where it's where it's at right now i think that barry's putting some of the weight or majority of the weight at this point on his sister after all these years of being silent he hasn't attended any of the trial for r kelly to speak on his own behalf uh which i thought was kind of odd 
Uh, my question is, what was Barry Hankerson's problem with Hype Williams? Like, what prior to Hype Williams shooting uh, or getting onboarding for Rock the Boat video, where in the media is there news of Hype Williams having beef with Black Ground or Barry Hankerson or them falling out or any of that? If somebody can DM us a clip on the Privilege Show on Instagram, we'd be grateful to have that information. Um, yeah. Barry Hankerson had beef with Hype Williams. And what's the reason? You know, he he talked about it candidly on Dr. Oz, but he didn't say exactly what the reason that he didn't favor like Hype Williams were was. Uh, he did say that Hype Williams directed lots of R. Kelly videos. And I'm assuming that that's probably why he didn't like or favor Hype Williams. But at the same time, I mean, it's work, right? I, I, what does Hype Williams have to do with R. Kelly's pedophile activities? Unless there's more to the story. So, uh, yeah, if y'all have any information on that Hype Williams, Barry Hankerson beef, shoot it to us on the Privilege Show Instagram. And before we hop off the Hype Williams shun, uh, Dame Bash has also went very public about himself not being a fan of Hype Williams. So check out this clip where Dame says that Hype called for an extra day of shooting. Uh, it was ordered by Hype Williams for the Rock the Boat video when Dame Dash felt that it could all be done before. Yeah, I mean, it could all be done at a certain time and that they didn't need that extra day. So uh, it had him kind of puzzled. Check this clip out. Like I, It's almost amazing to me that I'm the guy that was with Aaliyah. Do you think you would have married her one day? Yeah. As you hear all this other stuff in the news with R. Kelly, how, do you, how does that make you feel about him? We talked about it up to the point where it hurt. And then she said, I don't want to talk about it no more. First of all, this has to be a hard time, this anniversary coming up of Aaliyah's passing. What goes through your mind? Well, it's amazing that it's been so long, but it still feels like yesterday. Like literally, you know, I was reflecting today. There hasn't been one day since she's passed, not one. In the 20 years that I haven't either heard her name, heard a record, or seen a picture of her, every single day she's present in my life, and I feel lucky for that. What did we lose by losing her? Where would she be today? It's where the world would be today. Right. The trajectory of the world would have been a lot different had she been. You didn't want her to go, did you? No. So she was shooting a video mm -hmm. in Miami. Yep. And I had my son and my nephews with me and you know she was very supportive she particularly liked freeway his voice and she was supportive of anything i was doing she was like Yo, while i'm in miami i had the state property down there mm -hmm, uh, which yeah. was a group yeah and yeah. she was gonna do a record with freeway so i was like all right i'm gonna come down there i'll check you i'll bring the kids make a vacation work the whole night so when we got there you know hype was making this video and i was like i know hype i just got off of uh Big Pimpin', where I had to cut the video, you know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. he likes yep. to spend bread. So I was like, you know, he's gonna make you do another day. Don't do it. Trust me, it's just so, so he can spend money, you know? And uh, sure enough, she came home that day, and I had a big house, I rented this house, and she's like, I'm going to, you know, there. And I was like, I just thought that it was, uh, it wasn't necessary. You know, I knew that that was gonna happen. And then, when she actually was, uh, saw the plane, she, um, you know, we had the Blackberries, and she said, I don't like this plane. And I was like, well, don't get on it. And she was like, well, I got to because I got work to do. She got on the plane, and she always had a very serious fear of planes in general. Mm -hmm. So she had to overcome a fear to get on that plane on the way there. Um, but what I was really more tight about was that I had heard that Lenny Kravitz had offered her a jet, and that Hyper took the jet. So that's what really pissed me off about the situation when I heard about that. So you could ask Hype about that. That's what I said. Have you ever have you ever talked to Hype about it? Yeah. And how did that conversation go? Ask him. So you guys tell me what you think about this Barry Hankerson situation. Is he trying to put the weight on Diane? Which why haven't we heard from her? And just to um for our viewers and listeners who did take time out to comment, I just want to share a few of the comments that some people were leaving on the last episode. Diane failed Aaliyah is the title. Uh, Alpha Charm said her whole family failed her, just sad. Someone else, Virgo 66 
says Monica Lewinsky kept the same dress after Bill Clinton. Exclamation, exclamation. Destiny Shakur said, how was they able to do all of that if their family was always around her? I'm so tired of this. I hate this happened to, to this girl and her legacy. I know she was so tortured and so suffered so much seeing Big R. Kelly so hurtful. So people, thank y'all for chiming in and really staying tapped into the Privilege Show. Um, yo, we're doing some amazing things, bringing you guys an amazing season four. So make sure y'all stay tapped in. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, Hazel E, not sure if it's the Hazel E from Love and Hip Hop, but Hazel E uh, shared, very finally admitted that the marriage did happen in another interview with Ricky Smiley and DeBrat. So that's my thing. Like, why are you talking to media outlets about it? Why aren't you there at the court? I think if, if Aaliyah was still here with us, she would prefer for you to be in the court versus on Dr. Oz, who I'm grateful he's reporting the Aaliyah news, but I also feels like, you know, he's just trying to be on the way. Like, how long has Aaliyah has been, been gone and Dr. Oz hasn't uttered a word about Aaliyah? So anyway, glad he's talking about her. I'm glad he has the episode out. Um, one Leo shared, thank you for keeping it real because these other reports, I can't. Yo, shout out one Leo. Thank you. Uh, Elaine Nolan said, Aaliyah's uncle Barry said on Dr. Oz that Diane Momager talked with R. Kelly regularly and he recommended hype to direct her video. Barry wanted someone else, but Diane, yeah, we were, we were there. Poor Aaliyah even went even in death in R. Kelly Tank's legacy forever. Yeah. So this thing is, is, is it's deeper, I feel, personally, that is deeper than we all may think. And I say that for a few reasons. Um, it's been alleged that, you know, people go missing that, I guess, it's been alleged that R. Kelly, R. Kelly's camp says that people go missing if certain things come out to the light or whatever that's about. And to me, that sounds like some old mafia hitman type thing. Like if you say the wrong thing or you tell somebody's business or you break the family rule or, you know, uh, privacy, then, you know, you maybe end up missing, cut up in a suitcase under a bridge somewhere. You know, you never know what's going on. But to hear that throughout the trial that, you know, allegedly that was said to a few people. Um, yeah. Uh, Dame Dash also before we get out of here Dame Dash if you heard in that interview clip with Dame Dash he said that uh, Lenny Kravitz actually got Aaliyah a plane instead of that small plane that was hundreds of pounds overloaded with baggage and equipment or whatever else it was um, Lenny Kravitz got this girl a plane and was trying to get her back to the, you know, where she needs to be safely. It's also come out that the pilot of the plane just started working for the airlines maybe a few weeks prior to the flight with Aaliyah and that during the autopsy, they found cocaine and alcohol in his system. So, yeah, yo, I, I, I don't know what's, what to really believe, but it sounds like Dame Dash and Hankerson are not in favor of Hype Williams. I feel that there's more to be said. I feel that more artists and more people, not more artists, but other people know uh, more about this than they can even really say at this point. And so lastly, well, while we're leaving off on this thing, R. Kelly did, it's been said that R. Kelly in his day of conviction uh, at court that he said, hey, if I'm going down, everybody's going down. Meaning, you know, people that were involved or might have been co-conspiracists in this whole pedophile trafficking of young girls, you know, all that. So all I can say is let's stay tuned. Uh, I don't think that it's over yet. A lot of people kind of went hush hush about the situation. There's actually a clip of, on, on the internet somewhere of Mary J. Blige sharing um, 106 in Park, I believe, that she just feels that the way that Aaliyah passed was just so wrong. So uh, that hasn't really been talked about and I haven't heard Mary talk about Aaliyah since. Obviously, shout out Mary J. Blige. She's in her glow, she's in her grind. 
Uh, I know she has shared much respect and adoration for Aaliyah, so I don't really think she has much to say about Aaliyah, but um, just saying that the interview clip is floating around somewhere. And uh, yo, that's that. In the meantime, between time, thanks for tuning in, staying, thanks for staying tapped in and tuned in and all that good stuff. Thanks for downloading our episodes and listening and streaming week after week. Thank you guys for streaming our visual episodes. And again, download the House Hill Entertainment app. It's totally free. Check out some amazing stories from some of today's top creators near and far. We're talking worldwide. We're talking, you know, some some dope, amazing work from people uh, who have some real stories to tell. So check it all out on the House Hill Entertainment app for free. Uh, that's H-A-U-S-H-I-L-L Entertainment. Well, y'all see it. Yo, you can check The Privilege Show out on Instagram at The Privilege Show. We're also on Facebook and YouTube and Twitter at The Privilege Show. And check your boy out at Jojo Jovan on Instagram. Catch you next time. Peace.